Why didn't the Galileo spacecraft take an image in Jupiter's upper atmosphere? When the Galileo probe was crashed into Jupiter it could have made an image from what is considered the surface level of Earth-like atmospheric pressure of Jupiter or the atmosphere more below or above. Something like that. https colon slash slash sang at powdell.com dot np slash wp dash content slash upload slash twenty nineteen slash o one slash Dimitri dash Boglubov dash Jupiter dash one oh two four x five seven six dot jpg Galileo could even have filmed its fall into Jupiter if it had a good camera for that. Why wasn't that planned for Galileo? The same question applies for Cassini's fall into Saturn. Galileo could even have filmed its fall into Jupiter if it had a good camera for that. Why wasn't that planned for Galileo? Because it wasn't possible for the Galileo probe, which did not have a camera good or bad, and it wouldn't have made sense, it wouldn't even have worked for the Galileo spacecraft. The Galileo probe and the Galileo spacecraft are two different things. The probe was a small atmospheric sounder, it had no cameras. It broadcast data at a rate of 128 bits per second during its descent into the Jovian atmosphere to the Galileo spacecraft. The spacecraft recorded the data transmitted by the probe and later retransmitted the data back to Earth. Unlike the Galileo probe, the Galileo spacecraft had no heat shield, no parachutes. It would have disintegrated near the top of Jupiter's atmosphere. The vehicle could not have taken the picture you want to see. The Galileo spacecraft was intended to use its high-gain antenna to transmit data at 134,000 bits per second to Earth. The high-gain antenna however did not completely deploy itself. The vehicle instead had to use its two low-gain antennae in tandem to transmit at 160 bits per second. The vehicle took a long, long time to transmit recorded imagery to Earth. A transmission during the spacecraft's final descent would not have been possible. This gets to how NASA designs its deep space probes in general. They record data for a short period of time and then take their sweet time to transmit it to Earth. As an example, it took the New Horizons spacecraft 15 months to transmit the data gathered during the roughly week-long encounter with Pluto.